Okay, we are halfway through October. It is, I think, exactly October 15th or 16th. Um, and I thought I'd do a video tour of the garden and see what we've got going right now. Um, I am still getting cucumbers. I've got one in there. I've got quite a few growing on this vine. This is two cucumber vines um, that have spilled their way onto the uh, rock, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. Um, this spot, I had carrots early in the season and uh, I've planted six broccoli plants. They're all doing pretty good. In fact, I've even got some little tiny broccoli heads forming in the middle there. So that's cool. Um, this spot was green beans. This was the bulk of my green beans and I pulled those out. Oh, I forget how long they lasted. Maybe about a month ago I might have pulled them out and I've got uh, more cabbage and broccoli and a little bit of uh, bok choy growing in here. I got something eating my broccoli. I'm not sure what. That's annoying. So, the problem is I don't see any bugs at all, ever, anywhere. So, I'm spraying with BT for cabbage moss, and I'm sprinkling with sluggo for slugs, and I'm hoping that between the two, that might do it. I have, this is a butternut squash that I started on June 1st and I have exactly one small little butternut squash on it um, but oddly I'm starting to get these new ones this squash didn't do anything for the longest time but now I'm starting to get some I think it didn't get enough sun in this spot over here I used to have Anaheim chilies they were very tall, and between that and these um, tomatoes, I think that this butternut got too shaded. I, uh, I knew that it was shady right there, but as you can see, these squash, they all trail. And I was kind of counting on them trailing out to where the sun was and that that would work, but I think uh, in the case of this butternut, it didn't. So I'm going to plant some more next year and uh, give them a little more sun and see if that helps. Um, this is my harvest today. I'm getting this about, I don't know, once or twice a week. I'm actually starting to really get tired of tomatoes, believe it or not. We've waited for so long to get our tomatoes and now we got all the ones we were gonna get. We're still, um, I've still got a lot in here though. We're still getting some really nice weather. So really until the first frost, um, these are just gonna keep producing more and um, growing. So I promised myself I wasn't gonna pull everything out early. I was really gonna wait until everything really, really died. And I'm glad because I would have uh, by now probably pulled out some of these cucumbers because there was a point in time when it looked like they were all done. I didn't have any new cucumbers. There weren't any small ones. Um, but I just left them there because the plants weren't dead and um, lo and behold more started growing again. So now I'm getting a whole second batch of cucumbers. So I'm glad that I'm leaving things alone. Um, Here's my second planting of beans. I didn't get a whole lot of beans on this one. I started this in July because the beans that I plant in around May 
by August they're getting kind of sad looking and the beans that they're growing are kind of tough um, so what I try and do is plant a succession planting of them and it worked out really well I got some I got a couple nice meals but I didn't plant too many beans um, so I'm definitely not getting the volume I had on my first go around but that's okay I, I'm gonna keep doing that here's my uh, Moscovich tomatoes uh, I did pull out some of my squash but I've left I think this is one well this is either one or two plants one that vined in two different directions or it's just two different plants but this thing is this is huge um, I mean I planted this thing here in this little corner and it has really just completely taken itself off it's all the way into the path um, but I'm still getting zucchini so I'm just gonna let it go until we get that really cold cold frost I'm gonna keep enjoying the zucchini I'm getting it's it's got a lot of mold on the leaves but that doesn't seem to bother the zucchinis themselves so um, here I've got cabbage and this cabbage I I really have a lot of success with cabbage here in Roanoke Park so um, these are looking real good I, it looks like I'm gonna have three nice heads of cabbage uh, here's some more broccoli I got some broccoli heads coming out I got one two three four broccoli plants uh, one two yeah four um, I planted these little cabbage also but they aren't doing too well the uh, I think they're getting way too much shade from these um, from these tomatoes um, you know they're cold weather plants so I thought they could tolerate shade but uh, you know even even cold weather plants actually do need some sun on occasion and that's that was my lesson with this cabbage but it's not dead so and I don't have anything else to do with this space so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it um, this was completely covered with morning glory uh, and it started dying off so I pulled it all down and uh, Obviously, all the seeds that fell off uh, have decided to sprout. They're trying to sprout themselves, but they aren't going to get very far because the first frost is going to kill that off. Um, I've got bearded irises that I absolutely love. In fact, I ordered more, and I've got a couple more plants growing over here. They seem to love this spot. Um, I absolutely love them because I look out onto this spot from my office so this is my view is these bearded irises when I'm sitting in the office so that's really fun um, and then I'm trying like the Dickens to grow something in these pots the summer tomatoes I grew did not work at all they didn't get enough Sun here I don't think they like the pots uh, so now I'm trying some cold weather crops I've got some carrots and bok choy does well here because it doesn't get um, eaten by the snails or the slugs um, and this little broccoli seems to be doing all right so maybe I can get some cold weather maybe peas and cold weather stuff will do good so that's it <laughs>